Call of Duty Zombies was an incredible gaming experience that we all got to share together. Today, I'm going to go over the top five zombie maps of all time. Let's jump into it. Honorable mention to Nocturne Toten, the zombies map that started it all. The OG, the reason we got to have this experience in the first place. At number five, we have nine. Nine was the second featured map on disc for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Chronologically, it was the third map in the Chaos Story. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be surprised that a Chaos Story map makes this list, but if y'all were around and played through Nine when it came out, the zombie tigers instead of dogs, the staves, or, or whatever you want to call those weapons, the Egyptian gladiator arena thing that we were in, this map is still incredibly fun to play even now you can go back jump in and it is just entirely a fun time whether you're doing the actual main easter egg just trying to do high rounds just doing the trials everything in this map is its own thing it's its own like new different thing i don't know how to describe this map it is one of a kind, and it was incredible. It was a good introduction to these characters, and it was just a blast to play. And you can go back and do a million different things and never have the same game. And it is one of, if not the most replayable map of all time. Coming in at the number four spot, we have what is going to be another controversial opinion. At number four, we have Revelations. This was the ending of Black Ops 3, and for a while, what we all thought would be the end of Zombies. The cutscenes for this were incredible. The map itself is visually stunning, with the space, uh, space outside instead of a regular sky. Each individual part of the map being a different map. Origins, Mob of the Dead, Der Eisendrach... We were inside an alien to pack a punch. The story came to a head here. It was one of the most fun Easter egg hunts of all time. And it was the end of the greatest game for zombies to ever come out. Now, the gameplay elements are kind of the same. We got the shield from Gorod Krovi and the guard of Fafnir. We got the Ragnarok G DG4s. But we also got new things. The corruption engines. The new enemy type, the Furies. We got... Parts of Shangri-La back. Panzers and parasites and spiders and dogs and everything was back for this map. This, while being one of the most interesting Easter egg hunts of all time, is also one of the most replayable Easter eggs of all time. It is very easy to go back and just jump into it and play it over and over and over again. And that, to me, is what makes it a top five map. Sure, at the time, maybe you weren't satisfied with the ending because we thought it was the end but it wasn't so we get to move on and looking back on it with clearer minds it is a top five map moving on to the number three spot this is where it gets more normal at number three we have mob of the dead now everybody remembers mob of the dead it was the penultimate dlc in black ops 2 it was the map set on alcatraz island this is one of the few maps where celebrity one-off characters appeared and people actually enjoyed it we got alcatraz you got the golden gate bridge this is all set during prohibition era era in america playable characters are actually incredible the story that's able to be told in one game while still connecting to the outside realm of zombies is incredible afterlife mode was one of the most fun innovations to zombies in a long time and hey we also got the famous blundercat in this map so you know w's there along with the introduction of electric cherry which became a fan favorite perk moving on into the future and everybody remembers how fun it was to escape from alcatraz get to the golden gate bridge this map is incredibly fun and one of the best of all time Moving on to the number two spot, we have Der Eisendrach. 
the first DLC map in Black Ops 3. This map is incredible. Now, Der Eisendrock is German for the Iron Dragon, which is prominently featured in the game with having to feed these giant dragon heads zombies to unlock Pack-A-Punch. That, along with the two different wonder weapons, the Ragnarok DG4s and the Wrath of the Ancients, which is the bows, uh, were incredible. Then having those bows be actual, like, elemental weapons similar to the staves and origins was incredible. And this was the most Origins-like experience we've had since Origins. Panzers made a return. Dragons are around the map everywhere. And this is honestly one of the top two Zombies maps consensus among the community of all time. This as well as something we will talk about soon. But yeah, everybody loves Der Eisendrock. Whether it's the music, the visuals, the main Easter egg, which is basically the death of Tank Dempsey, or Ultimus Tank Dempsey, I should say. Being able to speak with Dr. Groff again, this is just a wonderful setup with great ciphers, with great everything. This is a map that you can go back and play constantly, and it is just a wonderful, wonderful time, and absolutely deserving of the number two spot. And at the number one spot, we have the final DLC from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. We have Origins, the dig site, Excavation Site 64, the greatest map of all time. We get to meet the Primus crew, and this is the crew that we would all grow to love the most. The younger versions of the Ultimus crew doing their own thing on one of the coolest maps of all time. Whether it's the giant robots walking around, the panzers, the planes flying overhead that make you feel like you're actually in the trenches at World War II with all of these zombies, the tanks, the elemental staffs, the new utility being the Wonder Fizz, the zombie blood power-up being featured for the first time, the zombies in like crusader attire, the crazy place itself is incredible, and this was, and maybe still is, the greatest Easter egg of all time. Both in replayability, the ability to speed run it, and the cutscenes, because this was the, like, we got actual cutscenes for everything on this map, and it was incredible, and still is. People still go back and now play it on Black Ops 3 in the revitalized version. Origins being the only map from Black Ops 2 that was featured in Zombies Chronicles. It was the only map that got remade for next gen and probably will again because it is that incredible of a map. The Little Lost Girl Easter egg was absolutely incredible. All of the different easter egg songs the jump scare easter eggs the ciphers and just what this map has constantly meant in the history of zombies including the great war literally the finale of Re revelations has our characters going back with the original staves to the great war which is set here at origins it's the best map of all time. I don't think there's really anything you can argue there. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.